Hi, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Christina Diaz, and I'm the program director for the residency program here at Yuma Regional Medical Center. And I want to take you on a tour of our new facility. This is our check-in desk. You'll see Lucy here at the check-in desk, our new. Um, we have more people here to check you in and get you started with your provider. And we're actually going to show you a little bit of the waiting room by flipping you around this way. Great, we even have some kiosks for you to check in, but then we'll walk right through this door and we'll take a tour of our facility. When you first come in, the first thing that you'll notice about our new facility is just that it's nice and bright and you can see outside and it's just warm and welcoming. Um, the first thing that our patients do, of course, is they'll notice that they get their vitals taken as soon as they come in the door. Um, and then they'll see our MAs that are typically set, seated in more of a pod uh, version of our old MA stations. And I'll show you why that's really helpful. So for example, if I were seeing patients right here, and this is typically where I do see patients, my medical assistant is seated so close to me, and I can be able to go in and out of rooms, and I'm able to access my patients very quickly. I'm able to pick up my prescriptions. I'm able to pick up my labs really, really easy. And so this is where I kind of work out of, and I get to hang out with my MA. And this is our lead medical assistant, Nancy. She'll hi. say hi. Hi. <laughs> Nancy is here to help us maintain the whole flow over the whole clinic. Um, so, But I want to show you some really cool things about our clinic. Come with me, and we'll go into an exam room. So this is one of our exam rooms. Um, typical exam room where a patient can bring in a couple of their family members and be seen by one of our providers with some Yuma sun coming through the window. Karen, come with me. I want to show you the very unique part about our clinic. Um, you'll see a glass area that's here in the middle of our clinic, and this is so important because we're a residency training center. And so what does that mean? That means anywhere from eight to nine residents may be in clinic this day. And so what happens is there's an area for the residents to hang out. And for teachers like us, um, uh, faculty members, we're able to really interact with them a little better inside the room um, in here. And all their exam rooms go around what we're calling the bullpen. Here's one of our residents right now. This is Dr. Amir. He's one of our third year residents. He's just finishing his morning clinic. Good morning. Come on in. Come on in. So this is the precepting area. You'll see Dr. Carvalho finishing some notes, getting ready for the afternoon clinic. Dr. Navarez is over there finishing his notes from his morning clinic, as well as Dr. Mayer, who was doing his patient care. So one of the things that's neat about this is the attendings can sit here. We can see all of our residents and all of the MAs. And then we're also able to be easily accessible for them to be able to give them one-on-one -on -one teaching in here as well as giving them teaching inside the room. So this is our unique setting in here and I really, really like this feature. And then there's also this other room over here where we can, we can write on the windows so we can give some lectures. And then there's also a private area in here where we can have private discussions about patients. If we don't want the entire masses to hear about our patients, we can come in here and have a talk. I'm going to close out some charts. All right, come on in here and we'll see the rest of the facility. Again, some of the, one of the nice things I had shared with you was that we have these pods where our medical assistants are readily available. So this is Blanca, she's one of our medical assistants. And Hi. she's here to help the residents who are seeing patients and the providers in this wing right here. Um, Blanca, do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, do you want to come into one of the corner rooms in here? This is a bigger procedure room.
So there's actually two sides to this clinic. There's this side, which is the residency um, side, where the residents are grouped because of the bullpen and the perceptors being able to be so near to them. Then there's also another side of the clinic where we have Patty Perry, Dr. Perry, who's one of the pediatricians that's now with Yuma Regional Medical Center, as well as four nurse practitioners who work out of the other side of our clinic. Come on, I'll show you. Walk this way. The whole design was for efficiency. Yeah. yeah, the whole design really was for efficiency to help with flow so that we're not running all over the clinic trying to find our medical assistants, trying to get our patients to be um, get their blood drawn, for example. Here's where our patients can get our blood drawn or their blood drawn. They can receive their vaccines if they come in for just a simple vaccine visit or a simple nurse visit. They can be seen right there. Again, you'll notice we're transitioning to a little bit more kids' side. There's uh, books and kids' scales. And we have students running around our clinic a lot, too. We have medical students from the University of Arizona as well as from uh, Midwestern University frequently with us. But we also have physician assistants, uh, students with us, with Dr. Perry. This is the other side of the clinic. So this is where you might find the four nurse practitioners that work in our office, and also Dr. Perry, who runs in and out of this uh, pod right here. So again, built for efficiency, built so that our MAs and our providers are able to work as a team much closer, and so we're able to provide the best care for our patients. Yeah. Now, do you want to come look in one of these rooms? There's another one similar to the others that you've seen. One thing that you may see is that there's a computer in every room and this increases the efficiency for our medical assistants as well as for the providers who may or may not want to carry their laptop in and out of the room, but also so that it's real-time input into the EHR, the electronic health record, so it's immediately available for the provider. Come with me, I'll show you some other things about our clinic. meeting space um, for meetings to be held as a team or as, for example, faculty meetings, um, community meetings that need to happen in our facility, leadership meetings. And back here you'll be able to see um, our offices, there is a lunch room, obviously a break room, and then our physician offices are down here, as well as our nurse practitioner offices and break rooms. Come this you to get your flu shot. Um, flu shots are coming out this week and, and they are already available at local pharmacies so don't forget to get your flu shots. Ours are stored in here ready for you to come on in and get yours. So again we're kind of back to where we started. Our patients will exit here. There's a checkout area right at the beginning that's currently being used by our patients, so we won't go over there, but there is easy access to get in and out of here, um, and I, I really do believe that YRMC has provided this family medicine center for us that is just simply beautiful. It's happy. It's a friendly. Our, our friendly staff up front is ready to take care of anybody that wants to come in to be our patients, but, but once again, it's really meant to train, teach, and to give back to our community. <laughs>